Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice math problem involving roots? From here, let's rewrite this as square root of x times square root of then square root of x. This other one will contain two roots, the one outside and the, the one here. Also multiply by the last one we have three roots. We have then x then divided by x which is equals to 1 over 2 then from here we can also write this again from the law of indices this will be x raised to power half same thing as square root of x then multiply by x raised to power half then raised to power half we have it two times here then times x raised to power half then raised to power half then raised to power half since we have it three times there then all over x which is equals to one over two then in the next step apply the law of indices this power will multiply and uh, this is dx raised to power half then times this will become x raised to power 1 over 4. Then times this will become x raised to power 1 over 8. Then all over x, which is equals to 1 over 2. Then from here, we have same base. We multiply. Then that means we apply the law of indices. We sum the power and we have x raised to power half plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8 then over x equals to half from here then let's bring these fractions together the SCM there is d8 so we have x raised to power SCM being 8 so 2 goes in 8 that's 4 4 times 1 that's 4 plus 4 goes in 8 that's 2 2 times 1 that's 2 plus 8 goes in 8 1 times 1 is 3 plus 1 then over x equals to 1 over 2. Then from here, 4 plus 2 plus 1, that's 7. So we have x raised to power 7 over 8. Then, let's write it properly. We have x raised to power 7 over 8. Then divided by x equals to 1 over 2. Then from here as well, we can write this x as x raised to power 1. So when we apply the law of indices from here as well, we can subtract this one from this power since we are dividing base of the same number of the same base. So we can now write this as x raised to power 7 over 8 minus 1 equals to 1 over 2. Then from here, this is the same thing as x raised to power 8 being the LCM. This is 1 over 1. So 8 goes in 8, that's 1 times 7, that's still 7, then minus 1 going in 8, that's 8 times 1, that's 8, which is equal to half from here. Then here, this gives us x raised to power minus 1 over 8, which is equal to 1 over 2. Then from here, to remove this minus 1 over 8, we can multiply it by its reciprocal, and its reciprocal will simply be minus 8. So from here, multiply both power with minus 8, then multiply this power as well with minus 8. Then from here, of course, this power we multiply, minus times minus will be plus 8, we cancel out. Then we have only x left here, which is now equals to from here, raised to power negative is a reciprocal that this one we have a raised to power minus one. That's same thing as one over a. It's just a reciprocal from there. And then when we take reciprocal of you know one over two here, it will be two. So this negative has take has taken care of this to make it two, then raised to power eight. 
So we have the solution as 2 raised to power h, which we can also write as x equals to 256. So here we have the value of x in this given problem. Then we can check from what we have to confirm if this satisfies the problem. So let's put x equals to 2 raised to power 8 there to check if we have the correct solution. Then this will become square root of 2 to the power 8 then times square root of 2 to the power 8 then square root of 2 to the power 8 then divided by 2 to the power 8 is equal to 1 over 2 from here. Then when we separate this, this gives us square root of 2 raised to the power 8, then times square root of then square root of 2 raised to the power 8, taking 2 roots, then times here we have 3 roots, then 2 raised to the power 8. Then over 2 raised to power 8 is this equals to 1 over 2. Then, since you know we can write this as 2 raised to power 8, then raised to power half because of the square root. And here that is double, we can write it as 2 raised to power 8, then raised to power 1 over 4. Then times, here we can write it as 2 raised to power 8, then times raised to power 1 over 8. Then divided by 2 raised to power 8, which is equal to, is it equal to half from here? So let's see whether this is equal to half. Of course, this power multiplied, this will give us 2 raised to power 4 now. Then times here, also 4 can go there, that gives us 2 raised to power 2. Then times here, 2 raised to power 1, which is, which is divided by 2 raised to power 8. Is this equal to half from here? Now, when we bring this power together, we can sum it from the law of indices. So that will be 2 raised to the power 7. Then divided by 2 raised to the power 8. Is it equals to 1 over 2 from here? Then we can see from here that we have power of 7, we have power of 8 here. When this goes, this will cancel out. Remain 1 up, then 2 down. So we have 1 over 2, which is equals to 1 over 2. So the left hand side equals to the right hand side. Then we can conclude that here, 2 raised to power 8 is, you know, our solution here, which we can also write as 256. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more exciting videos. Also turn the notification bell on. See you next class and bye for now.